A perfect number is a whole number that is equal to the sum of all its factors except itself. For example, if we look at the number 6, it can be divided by 1, 2 and 3 without a remainder. If we add these numbers, we get 6, so 6 is a perfect number. As the French mathematician and philosopher René Descartes pointed out, perfect numbers like perfect men are very rare. All end in 6 or 8, though what seems to be an alternating pattern of 6s and 8s for the first few perfect numbers doesn't continue. In the past, some people believed that these numbers had religious or mystical significance. The ancient Christian scholar, Augustine, explained that God could have created the world in an instant, but chose to do it in a perfect number of days, six. Early Jewish commentators felt that the perfection of the universe was reflected in the fact that the lunar cycle, the time between one full moon and the next, has a period of 28 days, again a perfect number. It's not known when and by whom perfect numbers were discovered, but we do know that some famous mathematicians including Euclid, Alhazen, Cataldi, Mersenne and Euler worked on them. Euclid showed a formulation for perfect numbers in his ninth book written in about 300 BC. He wrote, if as many numbers as we please, beginning from a unit, be set out continuously in double proportion until the sum of all becomes a prime, and if the sum multiplied into the last makes some number, the product will be perfect. This means if we double numbers starting with one and add them up, when the result is a prime number, we multiply that result and the last number to get a perfect number. For example, 1 plus 2 equals 3, and 3 is a prime number. Therefore, 3, the sum, times 2, the last number, equals 6, and 6 is a perfect number. 1 plus 2 plus 4 equals 7, and 7 is a prime number. Therefore, 7 times 4, which is 28, is a perfect number. 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus 16 equals 31, and 31 is a prime number. Therefore, 31 times 16, which is 496, is also a perfect number. We can state Euclid's proof in this way. If 2 to the p minus 1 is prime, then 2 to the p minus 1 times 2 to the p minus 1 is a perfect number. In the 17th century, the French mathematician and monk Marin Mersenne showed that for 2 to the p minus 1 to be prime, it's necessary that p itself be prime. However, not all prime numbers give a prime result for 2 to the p minus 1. So, finding large perfect numbers still isn't easy. Because of Mersenne's work, prime numbers of the form 2 to the p minus 1 are known as Mersenne primes. In the 18th century, Euler proved that the formula yields all the even perfect numbers. There are some important unsolved problems to do with perfect numbers. For example, we don't know if there are infinitely many of them, or if there are any odd perfect numbers. Most mathematicians believe there are infinitely many, and that none are odd but they haven't so far been able to prove either of these claims. Another unsolved question concerns quasi-perfect numbers. A quasi-perfect number would be a number n whose divisors, excluding itself, sum to n plus 1. But it isn't known if such a number exists. According to recent research, if a quasi-perfect number does exist, it must be greater than 10 to the 35. The largest known perfect numbers have all been found by computers, as a result of searching for new Mersenne primes. As of February 2021, the current largest known perfect number, the 51st, is 2 to the 82 million 589,932 times 2 to the 82 million 589,933 minus 1. Written out in full, it involves just under 50 million digits.